head of the class at the Department of Education, a new financial management system that has gone live, and a corrective action plan that has been implemented, the U.S. Department of Education arrived on island this week to see for themselves whether progress is actually occurring at the Guam Department of Education. USDOE's senior risk consultant, Christine Jackson. So those are some of the things that we wanted to actually come on island and validate that all of these things are actually working and the right people are involved in the implementation. For nearly a decade, DOE has been on high-risk status for its broken financial system that resulted in the department being unauditable for years. While things looked grim with corrective action plans and a third-party fiduciary agent put in place to stabilize things, USDOE expressed confidence today that progress is being made. In this visit, we were able to validate that improvements have been made. Mark Robinson is the senior risk and systems consultant for USDOE. We um, are quite impressed with what we saw this visit. Uh, clearly, there's a commitment on the part of the staff here to really embrace the improvements, which is key to the success of the overall effort. But there's still so much more work ahead before DOE can get off high-risk designation. DOE will need to focus on procurement, its financial management system, payroll and fixed assets inventory to track funds and inventory. So these are uh, areas that they have to all make sure that they are uh, cognizant of in addition to having what we call internal controls. We have seen uh, kind of a bottom-up approach where uh, folks have actually embraced the new financial management improvement system. The new system takes the department from a heavily paper-based organization into an automated one. So you're going to start to see more efficiencies and effectiveness in business processes here. Um, you have new leadership and very strong leadership. Um, that we uh, also anticipate to create more stability at the top. And you have uh, folks who are within the organization who are uh, readily embracing the up upcoming change. Jackson says it's that mindset that is the key to DOE success. The team met with elected officials and DOE management to ensure Hopefully everyone has the same goal in mind time, to get DOE off high-risk status. But You're talking about moving a big organization in a very different way and changing a paradigm within an organization that has functioned this way probably for you know, over 20 years. But we are seeing progress that probably has been um, expedited because of the commitment of the people in internally who are willing to make the change. While there's no clear indication of how long it will take before DOE is taken off high-risk status, Superintendent John Fernandez says it's nice that DOE can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. I think this visit has really validated the progress that we've made to this point and um, just looking forward to making sure we can put this um, put this system in place in the right way and turn our attention back to the central mission which is educating our children. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paul.